Hi, I'm Henry Segerman. And I'm Sabata Matsumoto. And this is geared cube net. So a net of a cube is a flat shape made out of squares that folds up to make a cube. The gears here mean that if I make any fold, all of the other folds happen at the same time. That means that this object is one degree of freedom. I can take my fingers and actuate them both backwards and forwards to fold up into uh, a cube. Our geared cube net was inspired by this mechanism by Oscar van der Venter. He calls this mechanism tailspin. These two mechanisms look quite different, but they're actually very similar. The way the tailspin works is it's made up of a whole bunch of repeating rigid units that are geared into one another. One unit consists of this white gear on the front, this white gear on the back, and they're joined together by a white piece of plastic in between. The next unit over consists of a blue gear on the front, a blue gear on the back, and a blue piece of plastic joining them. Though all of these units are identical, they're colored alternating white and blue in this mechanism. This white gear in the back gears into this white gear in the front. So this is two units over. So we skip the blue unit and we go to the white unit. So these two are geared together. And the blue unit here is acting as the set of axles that join both of these gears together. So if I were to rotate this white gear, it's going to rotate uh, this other white gear together, and the blue gear is going to act as an axle for both of them. That means that if this triple here forms an angle of alpha, this triple here is also going to form an angle of alpha, and so on and so forth. And so as these rotate together, they're going to form the arc of a circle. The geared cube net has essentially the same structure. So this square here is connected to this gear, and that meshes with this gear here, sort of two steps down. And this square here is acting as the frame around which these two gears rotate and interact with each other. The difference here, of course, is that these are bevel gears, so the axles meet at a point, whereas in tailspin, they're spur gears, so their axles are parallel. But otherwise, the same sort of thing is going on. So if I know the position of this square and this square, then that determines the position of this bevel gear, which determines the position of this square over here, and so on down the chain. So again, if this is at an angle here, we're forced to have the same angle here, and the same angle here, and the same angle here, and so on. And so the whole thing propagates and gives you the one degree of freedom mechanism. Our design is made with 3D printed squares, which are connected together at the hinges by bolts and nuts. So there's a single bolt that goes all the way through each of these hinges. We're using lock nuts rather than ordinary nuts. So lock nuts, you tighten them as much as you want, and then they stay there. Um, they don't come loose. If you try to do this with ordinary nuts, well, they'll sort of stay in place, but as you work the mechanism, they tend to slip off. The only way around that is if you tighten them down all the way. And if you do that, then it jams the two squares together and it introduces a lot of friction, and so it won't move as smoothly. So this is Geared CubeNet. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Do you want to say thanks for watching again? Thanks for watching. Just so we got a couple of takes. Thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Thanks for watching. It starts losing all meaning. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. That'll probably do.